The prenatal period is the period of time before birth. It involves the growth from a single cell to an organism complete with brain and behavioral capabilities. The prenatal period starts with fertilization, wherein the woman's egg joins with the man's sperm. There are three phases of prenatal development. First is the germinal stage, wherein the fertilized egg implants inside of the uterus first to two weeks. Next phase is the embryonic stage. The vital organs of the embryo has formed in two weeks to two months. And the last phase is the fatal stage. Its body is fully grown, it has the capability to move, and the brain cells is multiplied in two months to birth. Infancy. Infancy is from birth to two years old. Infancy is a time of extreme dependence on adults. In the infancy period, there are motor skill, the gross and the fine motor skill. When we say gross motor skill, are used large muscle like chasing the ball and grabbing things, and the fine motor skill use small muscles such as writing and drawing. During our first year, we are called lap babies because we are always carried by our parents. And also during our first year, we start walking and crawling and saying one word like mama and papa and it's called holopraise yes <laughs> and when we are two years old we are called toddlers here we start to communicate to others and we are able to speak with two to three words it is called telegraphic speech it's a mother yes some bird is outside yeah you can hear the birds in the trees. Woof woof. Woof woof. Dog goes. Woof woof. Let's go woof woof. According to Dr. John Bowie, a child has an attachment to a person with whom they always get along. It is called attachment theory. They can also experience separation anxiety, where when they are taken to an unfamiliar place, they have a chance to cry. An example of this is when they are enter school, especially in kindergarten, where they don't want to leave their parents because they are not familiar with the place and the people they meet. Early childhood development refers to how a child grows and develops physically, emotionally, and socially in the first year of life. It also refers to how their communication and cognitive skills develop over time. All over this area of development are intricately linked and are important in a child's early years. When children's speech and language development advances, they develop their ability to communicate in various ways. As communication is complex and involves more than simply vocabulary, this time of development manifests in different ways. Development Through relationship, child learn how to see, respond to, and interact with the world. From birth, children learn how they should act based on how others respond. For example, when a baby cry and their mother comfort them, the baby feel assured that they are loved and that their needs are met. Children not only learn from their own relationship but from the relationship of those around them. For example, they learn how to treat others by seeing how their parents and other people in their house interact with each other. Observing this relationship will form the basic for how children behave and communicate. Alongside the relationships, play is one of the most critical ways the children develop in their early years. Play is much more than simply having fun. It is an important mechanism for helping children explore, experience, interact, and solve problems. Through play, children learn critical skills, including how to think for themselves, move, and interact respectfully with others. Middle and late childhood, age from 6 to 12 years old. In this stage, kids' large and small muscles are being well developed and so with their complex motor skills, and from independent activities same-sex group activities. Acceptance by peers and parental approval is still important because they still need guidance on their decisions. They are still in process on learning what is the right and wrong decisions or things they make. Middle childhood is a stage where children move into expanding roles and environments. 
children begin to spend more time away from their family and spend most of their time in schools and other activities that they were curious on and activities that will improve them. As they experience more of the world around them, children begin to develop their own identity. They begin to know who and what they want to be in the future. Children in this age group are entering the age of reasons because they begin to be more flexible in their thinking, develop self-awareness, and identify and understand other feelings or emotions. During middle childhood, children work towards four important milestones including adjusting to schools, achieving new academic skills such as learning to read, learning to get along with the peers, and learning the rules of our culture and society. Adolescence is the transitional stage from childhood to adulthood that occurs between ages 13 and 19. The physical and psychological changes that take place in adolescence often starts early during preteen or tween year. Between ages 9 and 12, the transitional period can raise question of independence and identity as adolescents cultivate their sense of self, they may face difficult choices about academics, friendships, sexuality, gender identity, drugs, and alcohol. Most teens have a relatively egocentric perspective on a life state of mind that usually abates with age. They often focus on themselves and believe that everyone else, from a best friend to a distant crush is focused on themselves too. They may grapple the insecurity and feelings of being judged. Relationship with family members often take a backseat to peer group, romantic interest, and appearance which teen perceive a increasingly important during the time transitional can naturally lead to anxiety about physical development. Involving relationship with others and one's place in the larger world. Mild anxiety and other challenges are typical, but serious mental health conditions also emerge during adolescence. Addressing a disorder early on can help in secure the best possible outcome. Early adulthood encompasses the period from 19 to 29 years old. It is a time of establishing personal and economic independence, career development, selecting a mate and learning to live with someone in an intimate way, starting a family and rearing a children. According to Harvey Girls 1972, describes some of the developmental tasks of young adults. These include, first, achieving autonomy. Trying to establish oneself as an independent person with a life of one's own. Establishing identity. More firmly establishing likes, dislikes, preference, and philosophies. Developing emotional stability. Becoming more stable emotionally, which is considered a sign of maturity. Establishing a career. Deciding on and pursuing a career or at least an in initial career direction and pursuing an education. Finding intimacy, forming first laws, long-term relationships, becoming part of a group or community. Young adults may for the first time become involved with various groups in the community. They may begin voting or volunteering to be part of civic organizations such as scouts, church groups, etc. This is especially true for those who participate in organizations as parents. Establishing a residence and learn to how to manage a household. Learning how to budget and keep a home maintained. Becoming a parent and rearing a children. Learning how to manage a household with children. Making marital or relationships adjustment and learning to be a parent. Middle adulthood. This is the time when you reach 30 to 6 years old. This is the transitional period where people experience a great deal of change, both personally and professionally. The transition to middle adulthood can be challenging for many people because they go through significant changes in their life, including changing roles or relationships. In terms of middle adulthood development, a midlife crisis often occurs around the midpoint between young and late adulthood. 
This is the time when people question what they had earned so far, what other things of them, what accomplishment they may achieve, what was important to them when they were younger, and what they should do with the rest of their lives. This is often accompanied by changes in lifestyle, including what activities they should do, what career they may pursue, or what relationship can be entered into. It is the period in which people become more independent and reliant on their partners. It is also when people are more likely to be single, divorced, or widow. Some of the significant events that happen during this period including marriage or a marriage, divorce, death of spouse or partner, birth of first child, and retirement. Late adulthood is known as the period of life after middle adulthood, usually from around 6 to 1 years old to death. There are many varying stages of development and health in late adulthood, along with steady changing of life expectancy. Aging is a part of life, and with it comes changes in every area of living. All, or almost all, of their hair may have fallen off. In their ears and noses, hair will begin to develop. Many people will have physical impairments, and the size of the skeleton may begin to decrease. There is an emotional roller coaster. They might also have grandchildren. Age-related conditions like dementia and Alzheimer's are more common, which results in intellectual decline. As time passes, the size of your social circle may shrink as friends die away. However, visiting a day center or nursing home may introduce you to new people. As you can see, folks in this age range, whether they are in a care facility or not, might be more aware of the process of dying since they are older. In this chapter of life, it is time for adjustment to decreasing strength and health, life review, retirement, and adjustment to new social roles. Many diseases find late adulthood as an opportune time to affect people. Eventually, whether they caused by disease or another reason, every individual dies. This is the fastest growing age of bracket of society, physical deterioration, some memory problems, coping with retirement and form of entertainment, very concerned with health and finances, become depressed, and suicide rate is high. As life goes on, people restructure their lives based on gains and loses in what they are capable of doing and capabilities, also by changing values and goals. William Shakespeare once said, All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. They have their exit and their entrances, and one man in his time plays many parts. Human go through the different steps throughout their lives, they will change and develop.